The upper Midwest is known for harsh winters, but anybody who's spent time here in the summer months knows it can get very hot too. And preparing for the heat is just as important as preparing for the cold. As somebody who has personally experienced heat exhaustion, I cannot stress this enough. So a few things that you can do to stay both comfortable and safe on these very hot days on the water. First, we gotta talk about our skin. I love wearing long sleeves and clothes that are really breathable and loose. That'll help keep you cool. And also, for any parts of your skin that are exposed, of course, you wanna lather up some sunscreen. And a little tip, I like to keep my sunscreen in the cooler for a nice little cool refresh as you go throughout the day. Next, of course, we have to talk about hydration. We lose a ton of water and also nutrients as we sweat throughout the day. So drinking plenty of water, probably twice as much as you would do on a normal day, plus can be great to replenish with electrolytes with your favorite sports drink or my personal favorite, a coconut water. Now, another little tip that helps me a lot is actually bringing a cold compress with you out on the water. You can buy one of these at the store and freeze it, but I like to just dampen a rag, stick it in the freezer, and then put it in the cooler. It can actually be very helpful to press it on the palms of your hands or the bottom of your feet. That's the safest and most effective way to use one of these. Also, when we're talking about snacks, it's good to have very light, water-rich foods like watermelon or something like frozen grapes. And remember, no matter how good the fishing is, it's not worth putting yourself at risk over. So when in doubt, just take a short break inside or in the shade.